Richard Southern joins us once again. Hey, Richard. Hey, Janella. So I don't know about you, but I have been spending a lot of time scrolling on social media, including Twitter. And uh, apparently I'm not the only one. I'm always hopelessly addicted to Twitter. That's always been the way. For me. Same. <laughs> it's just um, worse yeah, now. I mean, we've really stepped it up here during the pandemic. It's a great source of, of, of information. And uh, I was talking to Twitter today, and they shared some some of these analytics. They said, Janella, that COVID-19 related tweets want to send every 45 milliseconds. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and you know they've really seen a lot of people sign up. Uh, user growth up 23% in March on a year-over-year -year basis. As far as what we're talking about during the pandemic, surprise, surprise, it's cooking and baking oh, wow. that's leading the way, Janella. Yeah, I mean, we talked earlier about the mushrooms, the mushroom recipes. Someone already tweeted us a link uh, to a bunch of mushroom recipes. <laughs> Very cool. We're loving to cook. Drinks were up 28%. Conversations about meal and meal planning up 23%. We are, Janella, certainly talking a lot about food. I actually talked to Karen from Twitter Canada today about some of the surprising snacks we're tweeting about. And when you look at the snacking ca category, it gets uh, really fun with Nutella, Skittles, and Jello. And uh, from a wait a second, we're talking a lot about Nutella and Jello during the outbreak. Nutella, Skittles, and Jello. We're looking right. for something sweet to ease the self-isolation pain, I think, Karen. We sure are. We want some fun in our lives. <laughs> that is <Yeah>. very specific. <laughs> How about that? I guess there's, it's always a good time for, for some hazelnut spread, and why not now when, when we're stuck at home, right? Do you have a snack of choice uh, at home? Uh, it's been maybe more potato chips than I should be, should yeah. be eating and uh, some uh, barbecued nuts I had today. It's okay. not good. I'm snacking too much. Janella. Tips for me, too. And I literally can't stop eating. Like, there's no breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's just, like, snack every 10 minutes. Not good. We're going to have to uh, go on a little bit of a diet after all this. Uh, yeah. I, the COVID, the quarantine 15, I said uh, exactly. a couple of days ago. Okay. Well, we're not. you're not the only one working from home and millions of people working from home, including uh, one pretty famous artist. Banksy, you may have heard of this guy, very famous in England for his street art. Uh, he goes out at night and he paints these great street scenes. Nobody knows who he is, but he's one of the most famous artists in the world. He's working from home. Janela, this is his bathroom that he put on Instagram. He's, I guess uh, the world is his canvas and right now the world is at home. <laughs> exactly. So he's at home. He's drawn these rats on his walls. They look like they're interacting with things in oh his bathroom, gosh. like swinging on the towel hook and squeezing the toothpaste out and running on the, the toilet paper. Uh, this is really taking off on his Instagram. The caption on it was, quote, my wife hates it when I work from home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get, go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and whoop, forget that that was a, a drawing and not, not a real one. <laughs> I know, but his fans say that's like an absolute masterpiece. So this is a, another really cool thing that that elusive artist Banksy has done. Here. It is pretty awesome. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richard. We'll see you again. Uh, well, I'm a work from home on Friday, so I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody else. Cheers.